This video will guide you through the bleed process for SRAM MTB hydraulic disc brakes with bleeding edge technology. See the video description below for a list of tools and supplies you will need and visit sram.com forward slash service for more information. Remove the wheel from the bicycle according to the wheel manufacturer's instructions. Do not allow dot fluid to come into contact with brake pads or rotors. Contaminated brake pads or rotors can diminish brake performance. Remove the e-clip. Then use a 2.5 mm hex wrench to remove the pad retainer bolt. Take out the brake pads. Insert the bleed block into the caliper to press the pistons fully into the bores. Reinstall the pad retainer bolt. To prepare the syringes, first thread the lever bleed clamp assembly and the bleeding edge tool onto the syringes. Fill the lever bleed syringe three quarters full with dot fluid. Fill the syringe with the bleeding edge tool with a small amount of dot fluid. Hold the syringe upright and pull on the plunger to draw the fluid in the hose into the syringe body. Cover the tip with a rag and depress the plunger just enough to remove any air bubbles. Repeat this process on the lever syringe. Then close the syringe clamp. For levers with contact point adjustment, rotate the dial in the opposite direction of the arrow until it stops. Rotate the lever reach adjust knob until the lever blade is 75 to 80 millimeters from the center line of the handlebar. Use a T10 Torx wrench to remove the bleed screw from the lever. Wipe away any brake fluid that drips out of the bleed port with a rag. Install the syringe into the lever bleed port. Remove the bleed plug. Use a 4 mm hex wrench to loosen the bleed port valve one quarter turn, then gently retighten it. Push the bleeding edge tool into the caliper bleed port. You will hear and feel it click into place. Rotate the bleeding edge tool counterclockwise one full rotation to open the system. Do not exceed two complete rotations. Open the lever syringe clamp. Hold the syringe vertically and gently push the plunger down, stopping before air enters the hose tube. Brake fluid will fill the syringe at the caliper. If the fluid in the syringe at the caliper is discolored, continue to push all the discolored fluid out of the system. Restart the bleed procedure with new fluid in both syringes. Next, hold the caliper syringe vertically while you slowly pull the lever syringe plunger upward to draw fluid from the caliper syringe. Stop before any air enters the syringe at the caliper. Repeat these steps until only a small amount of bubbles appear. Rotate the bleeding edge tool clockwise until it stops to close the system. Squeeze, then release the lever blade. Hold the syringe vertically. Firmly pull on the plunger to create a vacuum, then compress the plunger to pressurize the system. Repeat this process several times until only a small amount of bubbles are exiting the system. Compress and release the plunger once more to equalize the system. Close the clamp on the syringe. Remove the syringe from the brake lever. Use a rag to wipe away any dot fluid that drips out of the bleed port. Use a T10 Torx wrench to install the bleed screw, then tighten it with a torque wrench. Clean the lever with water and a rag. Remove the caliper syringe by pulling the bleeding edge tool straight from the caliper. Do not rotate the bleeding edge tool. Tighten the bleed port. 
Install the bleed plug. Remove the bleed block from the caliper. Clean the caliper with water and a rag. Remove or replace your gloves to make sure that no dot fluid comes into contact with the brake pads. Install the brake pads into the caliper. Install the pad retainer bolt. Install the E-clip on the pad retainer bolt. Install the wheel onto the bicycle according to the wheel manufacturer's instructions. Squeeze and release the lever blade three times. On the first pull, the lever blade will come to the bar while the pistons advance. This is normal. This concludes the bleed procedure for SRAM MTB brakes with bleeding edge technology.